right here. All this shit for three days. If I didn't bring a female with me, we probably wouldn't have to pack all this shit. Just saying. We're in room 323, so right by Gary. Do you need two people with this? Yep. It's actually probably better with this. Okay. Right. Upstairs. upstairs indeed. Fitness in that way. Pull that way. Sweet. It's got a fitness in our pool. It's going to be a fun time. seen that movie Devil? We're in well, the elevator. It says 2017. Oh shit. There's 310. So we got 323. Okay. Oh, just fell on me. It's 312. Reminds me of the whole way off The Shining. <laughs> there we go. Right Boom, right here. Wanna let us in? God said, let there be light. Ta-da! And we are here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Check the place out. Make sure I would actually bring this shit in first. Locked in. Need light. There's one light. No. Yeah. Fancy like. So we are here, and this place looks fucking beautiful. <laughs> Every time you get in a hotel, you gotta snoop and everything first. Yeah. What's up, everybody? We are finally here after a three hour fucking drive that sucked a bag of dicks. We're here in our beautiful hotel room. I'm here with the lovely Ashley, mob wife Gambino, Gary Goodridge is just a couple doors down. Tomorrow we got a big day ahead of us. 9 a.m. in the morning we're going to a juvie attention center and spreading some words of wisdom to some kids and I'll be filming that. Then after that we're heading to Dayton, Ohio to go to a children's hospital, spread some words of encouragement, give some toys, have some fun. I'll be filming all of that too. Then later on that night we will be heading to Frickers right down the road to watch Bellator MMA, watch Bubba Jenkins do his thing with MMA legend Gary Goodridge. On Saturday, I don't know what we're doing yet, so I'll probably record that tomorrow. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We just woke up. It's early as fuck in the morning. The mob wife went and got some breakfast. We're ready to go to the juvenile detention center. Today's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna go help some kids. Then gonna go uh, see Bellator MMA at night. That's gonna be fun as hell. I'm excited. Everything's ready. You wanna see the breakfast? Probably not, but I'm gonna show you anyway. There's our five course uh -huh. meal. That's hilarious. That's for one, that's for two people? Huh, I didn't want very much. I just want a couple bites. I got yogurt. I <laughs> I'm okay with my yogurt. <laughs> my yogurt. <laughs> Will you get me some boxers? Yeah. Some Nikki. 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 Or maybe she just wants me naked. Think she just wants me naked. 
Maybe she just wants me. So mob wife was the breakfast delicious. Yeah, it was pretty good. Even though it looks like it was molested by OJ Simpson. It wasn't that bad. Are you excited? <laughs> yes. Go to the juvenile, get patted down by some thirsty security guards? No. I want to feel your booty. I'm excited to make the speech and watch the speech with the juvenile kids. I'm not excited, excited for the pat down. Not excited for that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not excited for it. Not excited for it. A lot of people don't know, including Brian Moore don't know about me, is that I spent most of my teen life in a juvenile prison. Yeah. So this means to me a lot more than it would just normally. You know what I mean? I know what it feels like to be on the other side and to be one of those kids uh, like sitting around the fucking table no, watching a uh, fucking like a guest come and speak at basically their house knowing that that guest is going to be going home and sleeping in a warm bed and they're going and sleeping in a cold fucking steel bunk. You know what I mean? I know how that feeling is. So if I get the chance to talk to them, any of them today. I am going to tell them what helped me get through it, and what helped me get through it is one sentence, and that is, they can't hold you forever. They cannot hold you forever. I remember sitting in my cell, crying, literally crying, rocking back and forth, repeating that to myself over and over again, they can't hold me forever, they can't hold me forever, they can't hold me forever. One day, I was gonna get out, and I just fucking, I remembered that, and um, I fucking it kept paper and everything, a list of shit I was gonna do when I got out, and that's what helped me get through it, that's what helped me keep me sane. Alright guys, uh, I wasn't really gonna say anything, but when this guy asked you to talk, you really can't turn him down. About nine years ago, I was in a place exactly like this, I was in uh, Stark. Juvenile Detention Center. One day they lined us all up against the wall and they told me that 70% of us that was there is gonna stay there. They're gonna keep going back, they're gonna end up in probation, back in jail, just screw their lives up. Yeah, nine years ago I was there. I told myself I wouldn't be back. That was the last time I was there. Now I'm here with Gary Goodridge, a guy I've been growing up watching, kind of living my dreams and if I can do it, you guys can too, and that's all I wanted to say. Has that jujitsu for 
right there? Do you want the, 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 the twist? Got sunshine in my pocket. Ashley wasting so much time. Our fucking hotel room looks like trash because it's fucking mine. <laughs> How long will it take, ladies and gentlemen, for Ashley to be ready? Find out next time on the exciting new episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> If we're late, Roman Training Center, or Ronald McDonald House, just know this because of Ashley's tweezers. Whatever. <laughs> hey, you ready? Yeah. Right, let's Wait. go. Fuck the tweezers. Alright, fuck the tweezers, let's go. Got sunshine in my pocket while you suck it on my meat. I'm guessing they're all downstairs waiting on us because we're slow as hell. <laughs> oh, we woke up late one of the two. Not that late. <coughs> it's 6.45 late. Okay, maybe it's a little late. <laughs> Got that sunshine in my pocket while you beating on my meat. Slow asses. Look how beautiful it is outside today.
beautiful enough to make me go to church. <laughs> I haven't been to church in years, so I can't lie. Kind of nervous. But, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's my job, baby. If you're scared, go to church. Are you excited to go back home to our little girl? Yeah. Did you have fun, baby? Yeah. Did you have a good time training? Yes, ma'am. Uh, right <laughs> Thanks for having us. Well, thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> We're gonna uh, pack up and then head out if you guys are ready. So our job here is officially done. We're done filming. Documentary over with. I mean, my job's not done. The filming is done. I still gotta go home and I got hours and hours of fucking footage to go through to give you guys the best so uh we're on our way home right now i'm so excited to see my baby girl we're both excited to see our baby girl we had the time of our fucking lives this is like a dream come true i cannot tell you enough how much i'm just a regular fucking guy i was i mean i'm just a fan who got lucky and now I'm here living my fucking dreams. Um, we were invited by Gary Goodridge to go to Canada in 2017 is probably the time that we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go up to his place and spend like a week and get a bunch of training, get a bunch of more filming in, and that's probably the next documentary that I will film on the road. So I will see you guys. Well, I mean, you'll I, I'll be, I'll be posting a bunch of shit before then, but the next big documentary is gonna be early 2017. Road trip to Canada with UFC legend Gary Goodridge for some training all week. No seminars that fucking time. We're just going to his gym, meeting his people, and doing his thing this time. So I really appreciate you guys sticking with us to the end of this video. If you guys had fun like I did, Obviously, you didn't have as much fun as I did, but if you guys had fun watching me have fun and uh, If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. There'll be plenty more I'm pretty sure we'll be meeting much more UFC legends. This is the first uh, my first filming documentary job with the UFC and Much more to come So thank you for watching have a great day have a great week have a great month, have a great fucking life. And there's one thing I learned from this trip, from Big Daddy Goodrich himself, is that life is too short to be mad and not sing. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the biggest Ronald McDonald house in the world. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Alright. Go for it, good Come on, Carol, I'm out the fire. You ready? Yeah, okay.